uh, my name is Rebecca Sackett and I was going to do a quick video on how to do multiple filtering options. So I did a first half of the video that showed you how to do the sorting um, where you can actually change what it's sorted by, um, which is pretty easy. Uh, it's just using update context and setting a variable for the sorting. Uh, you can look for that video if you want to see how. Uh, and now I'm going to add in where you can filter by multiple um, sections. Mine's going to be division here. Um, you can do this with a nested if statement, but if you get to uh, very many of them, it gets pretty unruly. Um, the one that I had, there is, I think, seven different, no, it's going to be more than that, maybe eight different ones that they can pick from um, any combination of it and it got really, really out of hand on my if statement. So that's why I tried to find another option. <laughs> so uh, the way I'm going to do this is through a collection. So um, what I want to do is um, the screen on visible is going to be the first half of it. Um, so we're going to do create the collection when you get here. Uh, let's see, we've already got where it's set in the sorting. I do have it where it resets these uh, check boxes. Other than that, I haven't done anything on them. They're plain. I just have um, the reset uh, set as this reset check, which is what's done here when it's on visible. So that is all I did with that. Um, so let's go ahead and start the collection. So the first part we're going to do is do clear collect, uh, name it, uh, collection, quote. And if you wanted to filter, uh, any you could do that uh, on mine it does have filter in two that uh, I've used this on before but I don't really I don't need any filtering here so we're going to ignore that so we're just going to do the clear collect and start a fresh collection off of what date is here oh I'm going to pick the data source sorry uh, okay so this is my collection name that I gave it you can make it whatever you want and this is my data source so uh, I usually like to go away and come back so that that can go ahead and work. And then this here, where the data source is, we're going to change that to our collection name. So collection. Okay. So the rest of this is going to be on these check boxes. So they're going to change what is shown off uh, by altering the collection. So. Um, I'd have the show all also. I'm going to set that off a variable, kind of like the sorting does. So let's do that to start with on the on visible. We have it reset in the checkboxes. And let's go and update context to um, bear filter all true. And then we're going to also do that on then the button where when you click it, it kind of toggles that. So if it is true, make it false. If it is false, make it true, basically. So on select, we want it to update context. It's going to work kind of like a toggle. Um, ver filter all. And then ver filter all. Okay, and then it's also going to say, uh, it's also going to adjust that collection. So we're going to put in here, if there filter all, then clear the collection. So basically, if I'm saying I want to show all, go ahead and clear whatever I've got here and start fresh. And it's just going to be what we had on the front screen. So if you had a filter there, you would put it here too. Um, and if not, just clear it. That means I'm not. I don't want it all. I want it to show nothing. So if if it's not filter all, then just flat out clear the collection to show zero. Okay. Um, I normally when I have that. Also on this text, I'm going to change this to say if ver filter all, then that means it is showing all. Then I'm going to say 
Unselect all is what I want to show. And if not, then show all. Let's see. Should start out with unselect all if that worked. Okay, perfect. So the rest of this is going to be stuff that we're going to put on these checkboxes. So we're going to put one part on the on check and one part on the uncheck. Um, we can have, let's see, I think that let's do the default off of that. Um, default we're going to put off that bare all to. So let's do that. If bare filter all. And make it true, otherwise make it false. That's going to be actually the same on all of these, so let's just copy and paste that all the way down. I'm big on copy and paste. Okay, and then we're going to say the on uncheck, which is actually the easiest part. Um, we're going to remove um, this from the collection. So on uncheck, we're going to do remove if from the collection quotes if the division equals ACS. Okay? So if I uncheck this, I want you to remove everything out of this collection that has a division set as ACS. Let's just see. There's some right there. And they came off. Perfect. So it doesn't do anything when you check it yet. We'll fix that. So uh, let's go ahead and do this on uncheck on all the rest real fast. And then we'll do the on check. we're going to say that whenever you check it, I want you to add me to the collection. So it won't be clear collect because we want to keep what we have. We're just going to add additional information. So it's just going to be collect. So now we're going to do on check, collect, and so add to the collection, collection quotes. Um, we will need filter here so we can tell it specifically which ones. Log any that have the division of division of ACS to it. If you had additional um, filtering at the beginning, you're going to want to refer to that here also. So if you were looking for whatever, mine has split between hourly and hourly. So when you first get to the screen, it's looking for just one or the other. So at this point, I have to refer to it again each time. Not on the remove part, because it really doesn't matter at that point, but on, on this part you would. Um, but we're just going to do the ones off of the certain division. So this one, uh, let's just go and test it. So we got 297. On check, there's nothing removed because we haven't added them back. Now on when I did check it, 585, and they're back here. So there we go. Let's go ahead and finish it all the way through, so I make sure it's gone. On check. I had one earlier that was not working right, and I just got my check and unchecks backwards. like to, if I'm really testing everything, I go away and come back. So that way I'm starting at the very beginning. So I'm starting out with everything selected. If I unselect all, it removes everything. If I select all, it puts it all back. So let's do unselect all again and see we've got 
parts. Did not add. Okay. Try that one again. Oh, it's just going slower than what I thought. Oh. Dang it, I did get that one backwards. On uncheck. Annoying. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. On uncheck, remove. Collection quotes. Alright, Okay, I can't type either. Equals parts. Alright, I'll just start off again. So, everything, not everything. Parts, not parts. MFS, not MFS. Fab. Oh, it's still thinking. Not Fab. Fab. Not Fab. ACS. Not ACS. And then let's try both parts and MFS both. Scroll down, make sure they're both showing. It looks like from the count they are. Oh, yep. I see both. And then we could. Add, continue and add fab in there too if we want. So now we've got fab parts and MFS. So there you go. That's pretty much it. Um, you can, and I still have my um, different filtering options if I want to look at that. Uh, and there's no reason why you couldn't go further along with this. If I wanted to say put down here that I, I want to add this um, options and then other and uh, can add a search box and change it where it goes from ascending to descending. There's lots more that you can continue to do with this. But this is the basics of it. And uh, just to be clear, I know that collections are a little harder for people. I definitely had a hard time getting the hang of them. Uh, there's no reason why I could not still um, put, uh, for people who like to use it, put something in here where it pops up the box and edits this item. Um, so what I do a lot of times is I'll put like a little edit icon or something. And so when they click it, it pops open the form in edit mode. Uh, and allows me to edit it. And a lot of people think, oh, you can't really do that with a collection, blah, blah, blah. Yes, you can. So um, you just um, have the form pop up and it um, filter, do a lookup off of what you got selected here. And then just make sure that whenever you submit the form, it's going to refresh the data source and then refresh your collection again so that that way the changes get reflected here. So uh, that's the only way that you really have to make sure that you uh, think through that part of the process. But uh, anyway, it's pretty much all I've got on this. So I hope that it is helpful to someone. Thank you. Bye.